Hey y'all, what's up? Uh, I'm gonna be at the, where am I gonna be? At the Celebrity Theater, Theater in Atlantic City on May 27th. It's Memorial Day weekend kickoff. We got a, a show and a podcast at 7.30 at the Memorial, uh, the Celebrity Theater on Memorial Day weekend, May 27th. Uh, the, the comedy show will be at 7.30 and the podcast will be thereafter around 9.30. Um, Come down and check us out. Uh, Everybody says they always want us to come out to their city. We're coming out, so show up. Peace. You think you know about relationships, but you're wrong. Listen, there's no magic bullet. I'm teaching life skills. When you're sick, you need medicine. It don't always taste good. Nah, but it'll get you better. You, 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 You need this medicine. It ain't gonna always taste good, but this is what you need. Men and women, bottom line, we need to have the conversation. Your partner wants to give up control, but only if you know how to drive. This is about being the best you you could ever be, whoever you are. I don't care if you're a man, a woman, LGBTQ, space alien. I'll save anybody, I don't care. I'll teach a hedgehog how to have a threesome. What do you mean by that? Look, you don't have to listen to me, but you're wrong. Listen, I know I'm great. And I know you're thinking, Dante, there's no way I could be like you. But you could be me, you know why? Because you know who I was before I was me? I was you. You Man school, 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't. What's up, y'all? GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted, and I am excited. Now, I know I have said that 400 times before, but this time I mean it. Uh, we got a special guest. It's a special show. But first and foremost, hi, what's going on, huh? Oh, I'm doing great. Why would you even ask me that? I'm doing fantastic. Though. My bad, my bad. I don't, yeah, you don't need to get hostile. Uh, no, Dre, fabulous. Dre, you good? Yeah, man. Oh, you got a bag of weed. Oh, okay. Dude. Now he's doing good. <laughs> he's doing sure good he's now. He's the bagpipe, but he's just smoking weed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got a special guest. This, this, this dude's my man, my motherfucker, uh, comedy, comedy brother, funny, one of the funniest dudes in the game. Uh... Yo, give it up for my boy Kyle Grooms, y'all. Kyle Grooms in the yeah, building. Yeah. All right. Yeah, Thanks, yeah, man. Thanks, yeah. Thanks for having me in the building online. Right. On the, in the building online. Yeah, uh, the line me, building. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. Happy to be here, man. I miss your faces, man. Just New York. Is, this shit is you know. nuts. I used to watch you on TV growing up. <laughs> I'm talking <laughs> to you. <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> 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 I was gonna, hey Dre, I was gonna say when he said, "Yeah, I did your comment, your 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 podcast back when you was did in the, doing it in the living room." I go, and Andre was eight. He was eight years. <laughs> Andre had a Fisher Price mic. He was like, "So how's everybody doing out there?" <laughs> Word up! It's good to see you, bro. I I just want to say this: it is so fucking good to see you. Uh, for those who don't know, Kyle went through a fucking crazy brain surgery type shit that'll go in his dome. Somebody, I think the Russians was trying to take your funny, your funny nerve out or something. They were trying to put that microchip in my brain. Yeah. Yeah, something, you know, but I'm okay. I survived. I'm good. Man, it was, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna front Kyle. Dudes was, really upset about that. I don't know if you know, you know, like you don't always know how motherfuckers perceive you until it's, you know, it, it's you almost died, you know? Yeah. And and it was like, dudes was like, yo, you heard about, I was like, you buck, you know, like it oh, was wow. so much love coming out for you, dog. I mean, you know, we, I mean, we, we are, whether we realize it or not, dog, we a family, you know what I mean? We, we are definitely a family and you don't realize it. Even niggas you don't like if they, you know what I mean? Like you run after, if if they've stuck it out long enough, you like, oh, word. I mean, you got family we don't like. Yeah, 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 in all fairness, all of us have family. 
We yeah. can't stand it. Our literal <laughs> blood yeah. relation. Shout yeah. out to my brother yeah. who's on the run for the law at the moment. <laughs> oh, right. How the fuck would you say that, snitchy? Yeah. What you the don't, fuck, don't Harry? Harry? But You don't know his brother, Dre. You don't know his brother. You got to get all the fucking all the information first. You don't know his brother. You don't know what my brother. Your money is that why he on the run? Drake. Okay, shit. Fuck. Yeah, you go find him, nigga. Go get him. Hey man, let the Florida State Police do that. That's their job. That's what we pay taxes. You right? You pay your taxes. That's fair. Harry just said where he's at (laughs) (laughs) on the low low. He's like, yo, Florida State Police will handle you. Kyle, you didn't see him running around, did you? (laughs) Nah, nah. And if I did, I wouldn't say anything, unlike his brother. (laughs) (laughs) That's the difference. I know him. You You don't know. Over. Wait till you meet him, Kyle. You be snitching <laughs> like. <laughs> there he goes. There he. <laughs> no doubt, but man, love, Kyle. Man, love. I mean, shit. We we didn't want to lose you, bro. We really didn't want to lose you. Thanks, man. I felt this. You know, I, I really, I, I, I was humbled by that love I received, man. Kind of embarrassed and. uh yeah, you know, and well deserved. I've been good to you, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> well deserved. You know, yeah. Yeah. That's a fucking you know, fact, yo. Yeah. I've been giving you guys rides to spots and all kinds of rides to Brooklyn and everything. All kinds of shit. I look out for my comedy brothers. I take care of us, you know. So, you know. When I die, it better be there. Better be tears in the streets, running in the woods. <laughs> All the ride, all the gas I spent picking niggas up and driving up. You, you loser, motherfuckers! Get a car, goddamn it! <laughs> Feed, feeding hungry niggas, feeding hungry ass comics. I feel like right. <laughs> Andre. I want to talk about I'm you, Andre. I'm right now, nigga. <laughs> Andre, I did not mean you. I, I'm I don't picking mind. a meal out from 2019 at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> I did not mean you, Dre. I did not mind feeding you. I one time, <laughs> I, I one time covered lunch for Andre. I took him out to eat. And it was I took him to like a buffet place where you could get it by the pound. <laughs> Biggest mistake of my life <laughs> is getting <laughs> clean by the pound for Andre. Like, Harry, God, that's damn. your fault, bro. It's not like you can't oh, see Larry. me, nigga. What the fuck? <laughs> I learned a lesson that day. I learned between me and you, I had to fucking get a second mortgage between the two. <laughs> Andre was like, this nigga fit. I mean, how much can he eat? Little watercress, little, little arugula. <laughs> Oof. Andre would go. Andre eat like me when I was 18. Like, my pops used to call me the gobbler. <laughs> Anything you put in the fridge, I'll eat it, man. But, um, I hear how's people the family? call you the gobbler. Is that you know, true? Uh, yeah, well, a couple bitches. A couple <laughs> bitches might call me the gobbler. You know what I'm saying? But I don't want to get into that right now, if you know what I'm saying. Hmm. Um... Yo, uh, how's the girls? How's the family? They're great, man. Thanks for asking. You know, my daughter's running me to death. And um, yeah, we're good, man. How old are the daughters now, Kyle? Seven and seven and five. Oh, that's a seven lot of energy. Five. That's amazing, man. Yeah, it's a lot. Of, I put them in soccer. And that is soccer. Hell yeah. Yeah. They were taking I martial arts soccer. before, before uh, the pandemic hit. They were taking... Uh, Taekwondo. Oh, yeah. Shit. But then the pandemic hit. Yeah, I want my daughters to be ready for these. Look, yes, these nigga. <laughs> Yo, you really, got to get them a ground yeah. game. Jiu Jitsu's next. Yeah, yeah well, <laughs> Jiu Jitsu is next. Actually, she tried Jiu Jitsu, but our Jiu Jitsu, the instructor was like this, you know, 300 pound man from South America, and she yeah. didn't feel comfortable. Uh-huh. Yeah, like, cause she had to grapple him, and she was like, "This ain't my daddy, mother." Right, like, right, 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 right. Yeah. right. Well, that's good. You know, you got to That's a, yeah. that's a mistake when your when your daughter was like, "I like grappling this big nigga." This big <laughs> <laughs> daddy, when are we going to jujitsu? I don't like taekwondo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want to get my hands dirty. Like, hey, 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 calm down. <laughs> yeah, I mean, just, many years, Kyle. You was a hoe. How does it feel to be a a daddy? To some girls. Ooh, man, I, you know, I, I want to, I want to know how to tell them about the shit 
without telling him about this shit. I don't know. <laughs> you didn't be honest with him. I you didn't figure it out yet? No, nah, you know, I don't lie to my daughters. I don't right. even tell them about Santa Claus or none of that shit. That's my wife's thing. You know, I'm like, hey, they be like, what's Santa Claus? I'm like, ask your mother, you know. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> Nah, you don't wanna, you don't snitch on Santa Claus like okay. Harry though, right? You don't. Nah, nah, I, don't snitch. I don't blow them up. I want them to have their little childhood fantasies and stuff. But. Well, Santa leaves some stuff. My brother took a couple things, so that's uh, a, that's the big problem. Harry's, Harry's yeah. like Santa Claus is in Florida on the run from the um, police. <laughs> if you or anyone you know has any information about where Santa's at, dial this tip nut this tip line to get some information. Harry. This is really bothering me. Why does it look like you're in the, the set of the Janet Jackson and the Michael Jackson <laughs> video shoot <laughs> with uh, the same <laughs> slick, slick hairstyle and everything? This is Kyle. This is yeah, clearly. Just, <laughs> this is clearly Janet a Jackson post. And Michael Jackson should be dancing behind you right now, bro. Missy Elliott is in that tunnel. He got Missy Elliott. Wow, you make me want to scream. All right. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Dude, that's what it is. The scream. Yeah, it's uh. <laughs> <laughs> this is clearly a post-pandemic thing, Kyle. It, it sneaks up on you. You know, you the barber shops are closed, so you grow it out. You put in a ponytail. Next thing you know, you look like a Croatian arms dealer. It happens <laughs> to the best of us. I still don't know if I, I. I don't know what this this style right now. This look is kind of like a dysfunctional relationship. Like I know I should just stop it, but I've devoted so much time and energy that I gotta see it through. So, and, 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 and if and you it, need a javelin, he could get it for you real cheap, like twenty yeah. percent off. So and and it goes it, great with the background, man. You know? I'm just in a, a, Harry. I'm what's the garage. hinges? What's the fucking hinges? Um, it's the garage door. It's the, oh, uh, I, it's, I, it's the flattest surface. If I show you everything, it's just I'm broadcasting next to a pile of old bicycles. My dad I, has my dad has two broken toaster ovens in here. He refuses <laughs> to throw them out. Uh, oh, that's right. old school shit. <laughs> that's all about nothing. Yeah, but he's got. He has a new Harry. It's because his brain is stuck in a certain time. He I went know. through some tough shit and was yeah. like, "I am I never gonna be without again." Man, niggas, that my that's my pops. My pops grew up in the depression, and he used to keep an old. He had an old boot, looked like the boot from Monopoly. I was like, "Yo, why don't you throw this away, nigga?" He be like, "Nah, I'm gonna find the left one. You watch." <laughs> yeah, I'm like, <laughs> you say that now, but we need some some shit, and it's that's it, nigga. Them skills is not leave it. Your dad used to eat a boot like Charlie Chaplin. He used to uh, cook it up. They, yo, it. let me st straight shit. My pops told me because my pops was born 1920, 16 yeah. brothers and sisters. So they grew up uh, in the depression. My oldest nine was the market crash that yeah. started the Great my, Depression. His, oh, yeah. his his older sister was born in 1892. Which is crazy, Ooh. and uh, he used to tell me they used to to make to they used to go to the butcher shops and get the bologna rinds, like the plastic bologna rinds that you cut off, and and you know when you cut the cold oh, cut yeah, the string, yeah, the the, the red string, joint. yeah, the pla he used yeah. to they used to get that, and make a soup with oh, that Jesus shit, Christ. You know, bologna which is rind soup. bologna rinds. And then they when they would hustle, they would get aluminum foil. He used to do scrap iron and shit, him and his mm. brothers. And um, wow. and that's also how oxtail came about. Right. Right, Dre. That's yeah, how <laughs> was, <laughs> where, was where, like, where yo, they, somebody eat the tail. Yeah, they survival food. What city? Where were they living? Where were they living? At the time? It was in New York. It was in New oh, York. Shit, in Brooklyn. Dang. In wow, Brooklyn. Holy shit. Green Avenue in, in Bed Stuy. Wow, that's wow. Holy sheesh. That's when uh <laughs> the, the, the Bronx was still Jewish. You know what I mean? like, uh, like, that's when you run into old ghetto, Jewish people the ghetto, and they be the like, I used to Jewish. live in East New York. Remember? Yeah. I used to live I'm like man, you used to what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah he, Green Avenue and Kloss, and they grew up right in, in Bed Stuy. And uh like my wow. Yeah, he was my grandfather. My grandfather was a dude who um uh he he worked in the railroad. Like, I, re I remember when the Titanic sank. <laughs> he, yeah, he was the porter, you know, the black porters on the trains. Oh, the black porters, oh, the Pullman porters. Yeah, so yeah. he had sixty kids. He used to go to Canada during prohibition. My grandmother had this huge overcoat. She sold 
pockets in it, and he used to bring hooch from Canada during oh, wow. the pro. Yeah, some yeah. real, some real yeah, historical shit. shit. Yeah, he was, like, he was he was the plug back in the nineteen. He was the plug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, was, it was wild, but um, yeah, man, it it it, it definitely changed. It changed the game when you're in, you're in your head. Andres, um, Harry's uh, Harry Strauss is from uh. With um, Armenian from Arme- Istanbul, yeah. Turkey. So he still has that immigrant mentality, which is why <laughs> he's keeping the toaster oven, even though he has two of them upstairs. I asked him why. He goes, I want to see why it didn't work. Like he's going to do an <laughs> autopsy yeah, yeah, yeah. on the fucking toaster yeah, oven. Yeah, right. Like, how's, like, his v- how's his VCR going? I mean, <laughs> dude, I'm staring at one up on a shelf over here collecting <laughs> dust. I swear to God, Kyle. He got his his pops got a t-shirt that says, I'm talking about the real Holocaust. I'm like, all right, what oh, <laughs> the OG, the genocide. <laughs> <laughs> Even Kyle got uncomfortable with that. Oh no. Nah. I, like, I, I, really, I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I, I don't care. <laughs> how, how long you been married, Kyle? Uh like a year and a half. Oh, so y'all y'all just got married. Yeah, but we've we've been together. I know since twenty three years. Yeah, we met in nineteen hundred and eighty eight. Ninety eight. Wow. Yeah. We met in nineteen hundred ninety eight. Wow. And, uh, we been, you know, we wanted to see if it was gonna work out first, and then we yeah. got married. Uh, so you, this year, you figured you was like, ah, right, I think I, yeah. I think it's safe to say. Yeah, I get, yeah, I get why know. you waited till the new millennium, but I mean, what, yeah. what about the fourteen yeah. years into that? You were like, hmm, I don't want to rush yeah. into this. Yeah, you know, we, I, right. she be cool. <laughs> you be like, yo, she might still flip on me. Let me. See. Yeah, yeah, she might flip, but then. When she stuck by me for my brain surgery, I was like, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I guess she's for real at this point. Yeah, yeah, you know, I almost died. And you know what? I don't even think Kyle really had any issues with his brain. I think he set the whole thing up. I think he hired a couple actors, uh, got some overcoats and stuff. Yeah. That's yeah, the- special effects. Yeah, yeah. So special effects. Like, that's a, that's a Harry. Yeah. Harry is gonna wait for his brain tumor before he get married. He gonna be like. Yo, I got to wait. I got to wait. This thing is only three centimeters, yo. <laughs> I'm waiting for my shit to go benign. You know? <laughs> I'm just sitting there watching you on TV right now. <laughs> That's dope, man. That's dope. And she never pressured you about marriage or nothing like that? Never was like, she didn't nah. give a fuck. No, nah, she really, she wasn't really, you know. She didn't give a fuck. Yeah. You just, yeah. There was it, the one time, though, I think she was kind of sending subtle hits when that song, Marry That Girl, when that song was out, she would be yeah. singing that shit loud as fuck. <laughs> and like, marry that girl, marry it anyway. Yeah, I was like, the fuck? That's true. That song ain't even hot. I don't even know, you know what I mean? Like, there's no man version of that song. Of uh, what? Marry That Girl? Uh, I'm not even not get married, but like just a dude point of view song. I think the last thing was Sporty Thieves, right? Oh, uh, no, nigga, oh, nigga, you don't. All you gotta do is listen every to fucking song. Drake. Every Drake. Nigga. Drake. <laughs> Drake is a come on, man. Nigga, the yeah. Whispers, the Isley Brothers, the fucking Lenny. Yeah, but that's that's yeah, Lenny. Right? Back, I'm talking about like recent, like recent. Nigga, I bought that record. I don't know what you're talking about. It's not that far, but I bought. I got. I got that in vinyl. Yeah. <laughs> Lenny Williams, so I love you. Right. All of them joints was. All of them. Love you. Yeah. You know what I mean. <laughs> Um, so why do you think Dante it is? And Drake, like, Drake got all these cats out here in their feelings. They you know what I mean? Yeah, an emotional young cats. You know what I mean? Come on, bro. What is you? Yeah, yeah. These cats all in their feelings. That's you true. know, this emo as hell. Yeah, even with yeah, Teddy yeah. Teddy Prendergrass, and when I used, to, I had to stop watching, uh, uh, listening to Teddy Prendergrass, um, turn off the lights, um, because every time, every time he sings it now, I, I, I picture he's singing it to a dude. Oh, I'm like, I'm good, man. <laughs> when I hear that shit, the funniest part is when he goes, turn him, when he yell that shit. Turn him I love hearing that part. 
Well, you know, well, Luther Luther Vandross whole catalog is hot, so you gotta yeah. turn his shit off too. Then. Yeah, well, I, I didn't say to turn it off. Know. I just like you know yeah. when he when okay. he when he yells at the the dude, turn it off, and then he's like, all right, all right, then have the same uh, appeal to you. Ah, yeah, yeah. the, the little man coming in, come say hi to Kyle. Hold up, wait a sec. Oh gosh. Oh, here we go. It's the giant baby. Hold up. Oh, wow. Holy cow. He look like my seven-year-old. <laughs> now, he's just tall. Holy cow. Oh, my goodness. There you go. Oh, man. Bless, bless. Thank you, brother. You want to say something on the mic, son? You want to spit fire? No. Nah. Say daddy. Beautiful. Golden, daddy. golden nah. child. Daddy. Daddy. Yay, daddy. Daddy. <laughs> All right, let me get back. We going out? Yeah, let me just pop into the store. All right. All right, baby. See you later. Yeah, he, he's a little little maniac. He's yeah, off the hook. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, yeah, I was, I was, I was, I ain't gonna lie, I was happy I had a boy. I was okay. like, yeah, I was happy out of it. Otherwise, I, I'm about to catch it. <laughs> oh, wow. I was good with girls, man, because girls are gentle. They they funny. They, you know. They yeah. I'm I'm 51 now, man. I can't be running with a boy, and it's when he, especially when he gets a little older. I can't. Yeah. Be, you know, what I, mean? I don't want to be tussling with no other <laughs> nigga, that's male fun. energy in my crib. <laughs> nigga, <laughs> somebody else, somebody else some leaving. Other it, some other <laughs> nigga leaving the seat up. <laughs> yeah, you know, <laughs> hey, all that roughness, nah, you know. Yeah, but he yeah, rough. My daughter, daughters is cool. Yeah, I like, I like you know. Even yeah. though they they energy off the chain too, my yeah. daughters is just you know they attack me like hyenas sometimes. Yeah, you know. Yeah. How do you right. how do you how do you bridge that? I know you said you don't lie to them, but how do you bridge? Because I get a lot of call, we get a lot of I get a lot of messages where people are like, um, you know, uh, like how do you bridge this whole, you know, uh, the strength and game and being a dude and like I, I I know for me they they go like, how do you uh, how do you bridge the fact that. Um, you know, that dudes are so weak now, you know what I mean? It's mm. just dudes are just soft and they, they're like, don't know their value. And you, you know, you listen to stuff like that and motherfuckers is listening to stuff and they, and they're just not, um, like you, you also don't want, you, you I get, you don't want your daughters to be able, without being disrespectful, but you don't want your daughters to be bitches either. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like you want them to yeah. be princesses and stuff. Mm. But you, you you feel what I'm cool. saying? Like, what's the yeah, balance? Right, right right now, they're five and seven. <laughs> so those kind of decisions, I kind of see where the climate is when they at that age. Uh -huh. and see how they develop, you know, because, uh, you know, I still remember a lot of shit from when I was that age. You know? Right, right, at, right. At, at their age, they, they're, they're tame compared to the shit I was doing at the age. I was already... <laughs> Streaking and freaking, you know. I was doing, <laughs> trying to you know, finger I, pop, <laughs> trying to <laughs> trying to finger pop, and, yeah, and <laughs> you know, had girls showing me they cookie, you know, <laughs> in, in second grade. <laughs> it's like how do I, how do I yep. stop that shit? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I, it's funny because I used to. I tell people all the time. I went to Catholic school, and with Catholic school, like I we used to tie mirrors to our shoes. <laughs> like we used to lace yeah. mirrors in the shoe, the corner, and then and then slide it on the girl dress so you can see the panties. Like it, that was just what we did. We used to RC. We used to go RCF where you 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 chase the girl. The girl. Andre, you never played that. Nah, I don't know what RCF where, is. Like you ever like run, catch and kiss? You ever play that? No. For real? Yeah, booty tag right. when he was younger, but that's about it. Booty tag where you got to tag him on the booty? Yeah, you just smack the ass and run. <laughs> that's how you say you're so Those, are, on the those are pre pre me too games. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dre, you sound low. You sound low, Dre. I sound low? Still? Uh, What do you think, Ar? Can you hear him? He's a little low. Yeah, you're a little still low. Yeah, you nah, go. you're good yeah, now. You're good now. All right, all right. But wait, yeah. what was that game, Dante? RCF is run, RCF. catch, and fuck. But it wasn't fuck. We fuck. used to, you catch the girl, and then yeah. you you dry hump her behind the handball courts. Okay. <laughs> Shouldn't that just be R-A-P-E at that point? Uh, I mean, it's just, 
<laughs> not consensual at all. <laughs> they did oh, want. They did, that one. Listen, they not did want to play. Uh, they did consensually uh, play. This is true. All if right, you, if you, if you, if that you is very true. If you, yeah. if the name is if the name of the game is RCF, and you go, I want it when they choose who's it, and you still keep your foot in when they go yeah. doggy doggy step right out. That's consensual. I remember dog. when yeah. we played booty tag, girls was also smacking ass. They would smack you on yeah. the ass too. It wasn't no like just girls getting their ass smacked. <laughs> And, she and, was smacked. I got smacked mad time. Yeah. <laughs> Dre, let's some... be honest. You still get your ass smacked by random chicks in Let the street. That happens. I'm not mad at it. <laughs> Let me tell you something. But don't touch I me. Was... I got a lady. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I, I, I witnessed it again yesterday. I saw yes. it happen again yesterday. <laughs> oh, Andre well, and Dre... I just happened to be. We stopped by the stand. I don't know if you. I didn't know Dave Chappelle was there, but it was. Everyone's <laughs> hanging. Right. It was a party. <laughs> so I was hanging out with everybody. Dre's there, hang, having a good time. And I don't I'm not I'm going to leave the name out of it. But some female comedian came up to Dre in the guise of adjusting his shirt. She was like, oh, that's a nice shirt. But she was like tugging on the shirt and rubbing like the way like a milf does in a porn to, like, to the pool guy. Like, oh, that's a nice shirt. Just completely unnecessary. Yeah. And, just, and Dre just like brushes it off because yeah, Andre's, Andre's sex appealing is annoying. Yeah. It's really <laughs> fucking yeah. it's disrespectful and it's annoying. And guess what? The shirt no, it wasn't even about. that special. I'm not going to lie. Was it, it, was a, it, shirt. it was a fucking yeah. shirt. <laughs> shirt. It wasn't even from Bum American shirt. Apparel or nothing. <laughs> oh, bum ass shirt. Andre had his bum ass shirt and his burnt hat. I his hat just, that he burnt. <laughs> I, I think Andre just came from, uh, from painting a fence like it was Tom Sawyer days. <laughs> Uh, whatever. Andre could show up in a barrel like the uh, old timey and during the depression when people would just wear hey, a suspender and barrels. Yeah, uh, they they Andre went up. They they introduced him as Huck Finn. Yeah, this, <laughs> this thing had a straw hat. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I I feel like. Yeah, you're right. It's, 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 I feel like you got you're right. You got to know what the climate is, but it's still kind of a situation where you're trying to, uh, you know, like, I, I don't know about you. I mean, I mean, my, my son's one and I'm already trying to think of the trajectory of how I'm going to bridge this or how I want it to be. Do you know what I mean? Like, because if you, you, you know, you don't want them to, you don't want and you won't want your daughters to end up dying alone like Ke- like Kevin Samuels. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, my weird balance. Balance. yeah. And even too, like there's rules with like me seeing my daughter seeing me naked around the house and yeah, then yeah. me being with them new like you know how do I like yeah. this ain't regular like I'm your dad your doctor yeah. your woo 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 you know yeah, yeah, yeah. this ain't nudity it's like and my wife gets cause she's Catholic she grew up Catholic so her nudity's like yeah. <laughs> to her kind of you know I was like, we're in the house you know what I mean the kids, I don't know it's, that balance yeah. we're trying to find too like yeah yeah like those and- little I don't want them to be hoes now, be naked, you know. But it's like, yeah. It's like, you know. yeah, but they still kids, and they should be able, yeah. you know, like understanding perversion. Like, yeah. what's a perverted part of a body, like, or just a body? Yeah, yeah. sexualizing think, something, not sexualizing. I do share stories with them of me almost getting got when I was a kid. Like how? And I shared those. Uh, like, there was a story of um, uh, when I was a kid. I'm, I'm gonna shorten it, but. Uh, there was a dude I was uh, that almost I don't know he was trying to molest me or he could have but it could have went that way. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. He was a guy who gained my trust in three separate incidents. Like when I went to the store, I didn't know who he was, and right. I was short. I was short money for my Cub Scout meeting, right? And he he gave me a dollar and told right. me to keep the change. Another incident, I went to a pet store to buy some fish food, and the guy and the was fish food owner. The store owner didn't want to sell it to me because he said I stole some the day before mm. and I snatched it and ran out and then I left and I ran into this guy and he went and talked to the owner and, and you know, pleaded my case that it wasn't right, right. me. Right. And then and and then there was a I ran into the guy again. I missed my school bus because my mother made me take the city bus uh-huh. when I was nine years old and I missed <laughs> the bus. Right. And here comes this guy to offer me a ride. And did you take and the ride? You took the ride. Nah, I was like, nah, bro. 
was like, you know, thanks for the fix, but I don't know you like that. Basically, you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had that kind of common sense as a kid, like, you know. How old were and you? And I see my kids. I was nine at the time. God damn. But you know, he could have been. You know, he could, like he, he was, was like it's almost he like he was he, grooming you. Like he was yeah, grooming he looked you. Out, looked out, and he saw me on a bus stop by myself. You need a ride? I was like, nah, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm straight. I'm straight. You know? Yeah, but you know, and I want my kids to have that kind of common sense. You know, when Wait, they how, move, you know? what 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 makes you get that? Is it the the environment you grow up in, what you're exposed to early? You already kind of peep game. That's like knowing yeah. game. You like know game at that point. Yeah. Well, you know I, what I'm saying? I, so like, how do you get a kid who doesn't grow up in a no game environment to be like this nigga trying some freak shit? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well, I think I chalked it up to older brothers who had my, you know, who were savvy, you know. Yeah, but that's my the thing. Brothers. They had to go through games, so, like, they was able to mm. give it to you. But now I you think have my two father, kids. My father probably gave it to them, I think. Mm. But I'm not sure I wasn't around then. But my older brothers, they had a lot to do with even my knowing code. Like, I'm a nerd, but I know code. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, right, right, right. <laughs> Right, right, yeah. Like just because you know, like when I went to school, they were they were the ones that were in the yeah. And then for me, I was I, yeah. So, but I had, I just got to be a kid, you know. So that's the thing. How do you get the kids who don't have no? Because your kids is doing taekwondo, soccer. That's a whole nother lifestyle. Yeah, yeah. From mm-hmm. from what you was doing at that age, mm-hmm. from, especially mm-hmm. from what your brothers was doing. How I mm-hmm. like that's a mm-hmm. whole nother level of exposure. So how do a kid get that same? I peep game went out when there's no game around them. They just got nothing but good fruits yeah. and yeah. A yeah. loving parents and yeah. opportunity. Yeah. Like, they don't, yeah. there's no game going on. Mm. Yeah. But I mean, I think, isn't it? I mean, like Dre, which, which you was it? Was Did you get the molestation talk or was it? It was definitely don't let no weird motherfucker touch you. Then, uh, right, right, right. But that wasn't really the <laughs> emphasis. It was, yeah. it was yeah. straight up. If somebody put their hand, yak that nigga. My mother would tell me, hit him with whatever you got. Give it give it to him crazy, nigga. Like, it was like that. There was no holding back. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? Because it's like, yeah. we in it. You we just yeah. what the fuck. You know what weirdo motherfuckers is that? Yeah. And yeah. Brothers sell dope or whatever the fuck. Like. It's a different lifestyle. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. But I mean, even, you know, if you feel what I'm saying? Like, even that, having that, all of that stuff kind of feeds into not, you know, learning game. Even if it was, because like what I was saying is, like, um, when I was, like, when when I was a kid, it was more about the violence. We was more worried about cops. Yeah, I mean, it was about creepy motherfuckers trying to get you, but we wasn't really, don't take no candy. Like, that wasn't the emphasis. The emphasis was like, don't get murdered. Don't don't talk back to the cops. Hope put your oh. hand, you know. I mean, that was the that was but I'm saying I, I kind of feel was like this era where it was like known that kids getting abducted was like in the, it was like a constant thing. Oh, that was, was in Atlanta. Like, that was in Atlanta in the late 70s. Atlanta child. So we're in that so right. So in that era, that being in the the, the fucking the tone thing. of America, the zeitgeist and of America, it, that it, would it's create 10, it's 10. They made the it's 10 p.m. Do you know where you do you know where yes, your kids are at? Yes, so that would get right. into your head of yes, how to raise a kid, <laughs> how to be a kid. <laughs> wow. Like that's in the culture now. <laughs> Yo, that is so like just when you said that it hit me I was like, yeah, you would like that was on TV every day. You would hear that I shit. That yeah. I watched the documentary of the Son of Sam the other day, and I remember that summer. Like, yes, mm, yeah, like yeah. It was like I could smell it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And, and that's the kind of we had to kind of have that movement, and it was yeah. we were looser then. We were latchkey kids. Yeah. So we kind of had to be able to move, like you know, know where. I've had a few times with dudes like, "Hey, I got a bike at my house. You want to mm, like, nah, fuck your bike, bring, nigga? I'm like, I'm like, bring it over here, motherfucker. You you bring it. You got it. Let me see you got it, nigga. Hell yeah. Yeah, I yeah I do I do remember, but like so when I was in when I was in I was in the wrestling team and the dude who was the coach for the wrestling team was was like the creep, but we knew who the creep was. Do you know what I mean? Like every it wasn't like oh who's the creep? It was like that nigga right there, yeah, the, the one licking his lips. <laughs> 
to um help me put the mats away. And niggas was like, now nah, I got to pick up my sister. You like, you don't got a sister. Nigga, I'm gone. And you just like, you, you, had, you, you had to be, you know what I'm saying? You, but you knew that you, you was around these motherfuckers, but you was just, you knew who they was and you knew how to move not to get trapped up. And the motherfuckers who got trapped up, we was kind of like, yo, you fucked up, nigga. Everybody know you don't put the mats away. You know? And then there was always the kid, you know, the, the the gay kid who was in, always got the lead in the play. Like, when, like he he always got the lead singing part in the play. He was like, I'll put the mats away. He was like, oh, nigga, this ain't going to turn out good at all. But, yeah, it was it's weird that we understood that in a way. And and, and do you find your, 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 your daughters are naive? Like because no, of they're, they're actually not. And my, we, you know, we live on uh, Miami Beach. You know, they're around. You know, they go to mm. yeah, it's, it's mostly we're around. You know, we're in a probably predominantly white space. I would say. You know uh-huh. what I mean? It's, and to know who you know, I don't know. It's like how do you let them know? They're aware. They're definitely aware. Yeah, my yeah. Daughters don't. They they they're not they're not dummies, but they they got common sense, which I'm happy for. Like they yeah. they can see they they see shade and they know you know even yeah. shade he, even my daughter's peep shade. Yes. Yeah. Like, so when it was once some lady was like, my daughter look at me when somebody be shade oh shade. I think That's that might I be like. a woman ability. That might just be built yeah. into them, yo. <laughs> they like, might what? just have that for real. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like like what kind of shade? <laughs> like what do you mean when like, you shade like like uh, like say one time a lady. We were going in the elevator and, you know, during COVID, some lady was like, take the next one. And my daughter was just like, and we was just both like, that bitch, we both kind of look like this. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, you ain't had to come at us like, you know, we both right. felt it. Right, yeah, right, 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 right. So like, if you, if she feel this shit, I know, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. She know what it is. energies, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think also it's interesting. It's interesting because you 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 also get a situation where, you know, who you are as a parent. Like you could tell your kids all kinds of shit, but if you're a hypocrite and you doing you doing you you living foul or you just you're not you're not embodying the things that you say, they see it. So oh, yeah. you I, you I, can't hundred percent about that. Yeah, embodying. Yes, yeah, that's why you know. I, I hide the fact that I, I cover that I smoke weed just because I don't want to tell them about it. Right, you know right. <laughs> right, right. You know, just, I mean, I will at some point, but I don't, yeah, I don't know. You know yeah. That's the only thing that I would. You think that's because of like the stigma that you grew up with, with weed? Like culturally? It's just, definitely. It's definitely. Just it, it is, but then I know how weed, it, I'm glad I didn't smoke heavy. I'm glad I got my fundamentals together my mm-hmm. college and all that, my my established life yeah, 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 definitely. before, yeah. and I didn't start heavy until I was in my thirties. Like, yeah. you know, I, that's when I. Moved. But that more okay. comes with that could just be explained as this is how to use this this thing. Yeah. This is how yeah. this is how yeah. the best usage of this yeah. thing works. Yeah. So, like the babies is like, all right, when you hit twenty five, your brain reaches this level. Especially since kids are wild smart now, they got the fucking. Mac yeah. at the, they can do everything at the yeah. fingertips immediately. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, nigga. listen, this is how your brain works. You hit 25, most of it's developed, and you can't fuck it up as much. Just wait yeah, until you yeah. hit that age. Yeah, but you know what? That's, just, that's kind of the same way we look at sex. It's still, you know, like kids are aware of sex, and they're, they're also aware of, like, as a kid, you know, we wasn't a like that. Like, you know how people embrace weed now, but. But it, I mean, people in, like my pops had a bar in the basement. Do you know yeah. what I mean? But we knew we shouldn't be drinking. Like, I yeah, mean, you know, that. it was a true thing that, that we kind of felt like, you know, yeah. this is an adult thing and we wanted to be grown. But you knew, dog, this is yeah, not, you know yeah. what I mean? There was that line this, there. Them shit smell too strong coming out of that bar. <laughs> 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 yeah, so oh, it's, it's your chest. So I, I guess you know, looking at weed and and alcohol, because it, it, I mean, like, yeah. it's crazy. Yeah, I grew up in the weed culture. I'm Jamaican. You know right, what I mean? Right. I've seen it around forever. It's never been a time I don't. I'm not familiar with the plant. It's mm, and okay. I still waited until I was 25 to touch it. 26, mm, I think. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like yeah, it was, I had it. I'm talking it was about my fault. It was backyard, my fault. reachable, <laughs> right there. 
Yeah. And it's just, I, it's oh, I'm you had, they was, of it my entire time. Dre, they were growing plants in the... In Dante, the, in, I'm a Jamaican person, Bridget. <laughs> I'm the only person born here, Dante. I'm not new to weed, bro. No, no. I've I'm, been seeing this since... But I'm saying they grew plants. They, like, your family Dante, grew I'm plants. Dante, I'm a Jamaican person. Bro. All right. I, I am I, not... <laughs> <laughs> you understand me? It's not yeah, you. Yeah. But it's just the understanding of it. Culturally, we understand where it came from, who does it, why... You know what I mean? I tell oh, and, and I'm and asking in your mind, in your mind, it was just there was an understanding Weed of this was is... like this. There was like an American outlook of how I seen it, and then the way I grew up seeing it, where it was like America. It looked like if you touch this, your brains on drugs, and the niggas yeah, that yeah, smoke yeah, weed yeah. on the corner or stay on the steps the entire yeah. day smoking. And then the other look was weed was this thing you had to earn the right to do. Okay. Mm-hmm. Rasta knew about it. It's meditation. It has purpose. Yeah. It's attached to a rel- don't. This is something where something serious. You know something. Yeah. You, you are part yeah. of a cult. This is not some shit you just right. burn weed on wherever. You have to know yeah. something to do. It's, it's like that. Yeah, it, was it, was like a whole, it was a serious yeah. kind of thing in a culture that was yeah. attached yeah. to it. And yeah. it was, they'll look at you like this is not no kid yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like this is a big people thing. I go on move. It was like, but, but you know, still, you but just but just still as a kid, you you know, I mean, like I didn't do this, but I knew motherfuckers who who snuck and smoked. I just seen them niggas as gangster. I'm not I was okay. like I'm not uh, touching it. I know myself. I ain't going uh, y'all niggas man. is real. I ain't real. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> Andre is I'm certainly my made business. up. You certainly made up for lost time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> But you, but you know what I'm saying? I, like when it came to cigarettes, like I wasn't trying to, like I knew it was adult yeah. shit, but there was always niggas who was like, yo, I want to be adult, yeah. so I'm a smoke. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like that was kind of a thing. I mean, me and Cal, Cal, I'm, I'm 54, so we grew up, niggas, I mean, niggas, there was ash, motherfuckers don't understand, there was ashtrays in cars. Like, oh, you, oh yeah, for real. Air, you had, smoking, had, airplanes. Yeah. You had everywhere. smoking sections yeah. in you the wanna airplanes. Know, you want to know yeah. a better one? I got a haircut from like an old Italian barber like this guy they got, this yeah they used is, to have the ash and I, was, I was flipping something I go what the fuck am I touch what is this metal latch over here I look yeah, yeah. there's a fucking ashtray ash in the tray. barber chair yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, the OG yeah. barber chair like you That's couldn't even get your hair bro. cut the you fact that America did that let you come on son. That's yeah. evil as shit. Mm. Don't know what the fuck cigarettes do. I guess they didn't know. It's fuck not- that them niggas knew really? ain't no science new there's no new yeah. science yeah, there's okay. new science. So, so Dante, to be healthy for you. Come on, man. This there's is- no fucking way a doctor saw combustion as healthy. Dog, this was you're, this was, you're this absolutely wrong. Combustion, yeah, yeah. dog. Yes, yeah. dog. Johnny Even Carson. Johnny Carson used to smoke on the. They used to smoke yeah, on yeah. the talk show. I'm not saying they didn't get fooled by it. I'm thinking the people who but created they- it and know the product. And did the but, studies but know that think, this shit is not used like you that? You gotta think if this if cigarette smoker became head, like they don't have the stories. It's like now they don't have enough history of COVID to have because we don't know what the fuck's gonna happen. That's you real. What I'm right, saying? Right, that's real. Like we right. don't know what the, the thing because there's not enough studies. Like we just right, hoping right. that it's gonna be all right. Cocaine was already a. a People didn't know it used to be an ingredient before. Yeah, you know, yeah. So well, they used no cocaine study. was in Coca Cola. Like yeah, when yeah. you look at when you look at yeah. like uh, Doc Holliday yeah. and Tombstone, Thank they you. did opium. And mm-hmm. they had yeah. opium dens like that was what you did. If you were sick, you took opium. So when you say they didn't know, com- but dog, they yeah. absolutely doctors, had no fucking idea. Books. And doctors books, doctors are practicing. Their medical journals are only updated. So you get what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah, yeah. They, it wasn't even they, online. They in time like we are. They get no, it. My doctor, just... let me tell you something. We had a, back in the days, you <laughs> were, yo, this is crazy because you taking me back. We had a, a family doctor, doctor with the, like in the cartoons with the, ba- the you know, the, boom box. You, <laughs> you know, the, the, the doctor's bag <laughs> with the specoscope. Oh, they didn't have it. They didn't even have the light. They had a, a mirror that they, they would just reflect the light on mm-hmm. you. And the, my doctor used to smoke. Yeah. A cartoon doctor. Yeah. <laughs> Dante was born in black and white, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so my, when I think of my, my general practitioner, he used to smoke. He would have a cigarette in his mouth while he was fucking That's checking funny your heart. As shit. 
That's the funniest <laughs> thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Yo, Kyle, am I wrong or no? Like, yes. motherfucker. That's so funny. <laughs> so when you say <laughs> they didn't know it. combustion dog, they... They didn't know. They did not fucking know. They, wow. had no, they had no... Well, I mean, look, think about it like this. I, I, I was talking to motherfuckers about the whole, I always, you know, the whole, ra- you know, the George Floyd, the racism thing. I go, dog, the sun, when you, when we're talking about the progress of, of race progress, right? Mm-hmm. The science of the day. And I mean, the science of the day was that, ge- that black people were genetically inferior. Yeah. They, d- I mean, that was the, the they, they didn't let us play quarterback to the late. Exactly. Cause we didn't have the, we didn't have the, 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 the mental, mental capacity. Part of me now, a, yeah. I, I hear that and I understand it, but a part of me goes, I feel like it was blatant lying. Like, like them knowing we're special or knowing the ability. There's no, there's too many different books to like the idea of nah, Western Dre, philosophy, man. Dre, like you, they shape the minds uh, in America. You, there's other books that's older than what the fuck is in America. There's dog, other understandings. Dog, here's the thing. Black people tobacco, aren't just here. We didn't just get here. You know, but tobacco was okay when the Indians and all exactly. The so they understood it. we can but fuck with it and make a different product. Industry started having fucking cigarettes with it. started. Tra- I'm sure Senate, they started. You know, probably I don't know if this is fact, but I'm sure you know because they always do it. They cut yeah. ingredients. It goes from natural to unnatural. And then I'm saying in the fifties and sixties that you probably could have got a natural smoke. You yeah, but I mean? Dre, check it out. Here's my they thing. Ban, That's a fucking BDs. fact, bro. They, they banned BDs I, hell yeah. in America. I mean, BDs is all natural leaf. It's got a leaf on it, everything, yeah. no thing. But BDs, you got to go to Indonesia to buy them. I mean, but you can't get them in America. But they yes. got, you know, the factories. Woo, 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 but That's the type of shit I'm talking about, man. Yeah, yeah but, dog, but, I, there was no, like... America's... So- sh- forcibly would ignore other philosophies that don't fit the shit that they're trying to put here. Not, not even just America, but you start, you, you're talking about, imp- dog, when you know how to do, you know, I mean, it's true, but when they right. talk about black dudes having big dicks, mm-hmm. right? I mean, that's absolutely true. But the point is, the point, the, the point of it, the point of it was the over-sexualization of of black men, it was yes, just be, that their African. genitalia was so large that it that uh, controlled your yeah. your savagery, the savagery of us. One meantime, yeah. they was raping white women, let, yeah. bla- raping black yeah. women and slaves. All that. but the point yeah. was, they even said that about black women about the labia and the v- their vaginas oh, and their oh, sexuality, oh. the veracity. So when niggas go, yeah, you know, niggas got a black dick, big black dick, but that was a that was a way to. to and I think that's intentional. I think they. Yes, yes, they yes, understand. Yes, yes. That's yeah. what I'm saying. They but, understand yeah, the but, value, and it was like, all right, we gotta we gotta twist it so that they can see this as a negative, so we can help people yeah. fucking shape these thoughts. But but dog, do, was it? You can't. It wasn't like this is a plan. That's this, a, that's a piece of wait, shit plan. No, no, wait. Let me see what I'm saying. What I'm saying is it, not that it wasn't a plan. It's that. It racism. It progressed. It, it it didn't. It evolved into what we perceive. Wow, we have five minutes already. It it, it evolved into that. It wasn't that. What it wasn't like. Somebody said, "This is what we're going to do." Look, I I I I get what you said. It was the dehumanization of people. It was the oversexualization like, of women. Understand the science of sex. These fuckers understand the science of sex and, and did, how. Though. And, wow, there's a, like. It's not like Dre, you're you yeah, you bugging you're giving, Dre. You're giving, them, yeah, I gotta, you're giving them you're giving them more credit than they like even Dr. Fauci, he's now and don't really know what the fuck. Right, right. 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 You know what I'm saying? It's yeah, like, but to, to Dre's to, to <laughs> Dre's point, to know. Andre's point, like whatever the bullshit science they had, maybe it wasn't accurate and it wasn't good, but it was always a step worse for black people. Like whatever, using leeches is you know awful. That was the best they came up with. But they were always able to figure it out the advancement, except when it came to like eugenics and, that's and the all thing of a sudden. Too. They didn't figure oh, out yeah. no fucking advancement. Mm-hmm. They didn't figure out no advancement. 
Human but, bodies have been here forever. We've been figuring out how to stay sustained forever. Yeah, but Dre, here's doing. my thing. They, they, the, is, but there was a, there was a, there was a, uh, uh, so when you have a, when you have a societal situation where you have people are, are basically a caste system, if not, not just a race system, but a caste system, you have these in place and it's just like anything now. It's, you got motherfuckers that are looking at the January 6th thing and saying it was a Taurus thing. Like yeah. they're, they're literally, are the the the, 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 the Russian and the capital. Capital. Oh, okay. yeah. So there, the there's, they, there's a Republican dude that said people was in line. They stayed inside the velvet ropes. This was not an insurgent, but oh, he's okay, okay. pushing. They have pictures of him pushing the ottoman against the door to keep niggas out. So yeah. like, so in the in the in the in the open, yeah, he knows what it is and he's lying about it, but. If you keep yeah. telling this lie, it becomes mm. something different. So there was a there was a time when they used to talk about they would talk about uh, Asians as mongoloids, blacks were negroids, and and whites were caucasoid, which Wait, is a, isn't, which is are a, you doing you're doing Tony Hinchcliffe's act right now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and, That's not and, right, Dante. And, and they would take him. they would take buckshot and fill the skulls. With buckshot, whoever's buck, whoever's, uh, uh, whoever's head held more, or the thick, they were talking about the thickness of the negroid skull, which is what made them less. Like, like I'm saying, there was a there's a pseudo science in place that they were talking about, and you talk about if you're not a scientist, you you, and this goes along with the narrative to to denigrate people or to dehumanize people that support the so the the the, the financial culture and for what what's then nobody questions it dog i i had a, I, I was talking to a white dude today talking to him he lives in levittown lives in levittown knows nothing about red line about the history yeah yeah i, I, I no idea live in wilmington north carolina and don't know nothing about the wilmington insurrection yeah they yeah had, I said that I told that story on stage because I did a whole week in there. Yeah, and yeah. Most of the audience was like, really? Yeah. Uh, they didn't know about the Wilmington insurrection yeah. at all. Like, then that's why motherfuckers is yeah. You know, yeah, that's, that's really why that's right. why we fucked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's also a willful choice to ignore all that shit. Like when the mm. science comes out and goes, eugenics isn't a real thing. And then of course people in the South go, Nah, yeah, it is. They just well, ignore uh, well, it. Yeah, yeah. You well, just, well, you just, everybody yeah. want to feel superior to something, right. you know. But I don't get feeling superior if Which if the weird. oldest if the oldest person was found, anything else is an adaptation of that, you know. Simple. So, that's the e. It's oh, yeah, yeah. fucking. Ben That's the point of what I'm saying. That there's no new science. Yeah, Our liver yeah. has been in the same fucking liver position yeah, but since livers liver. Nigga. It's like aspirin, what the fuck, Dre? You, aspirin, you're bugging. Like you, you're <laughs> always bugging. No, you're, yeah, you are bugging. <laughs> but, I'm, but I'm saying, yeah, but, aspirin, dog. And I think that shit was like we know this is destroying y'all, but here, take it anyway. Because well, it was a profit, and they thought it was dog. They like you. You had snake oil salesmen who was selling cocaine because it made you feel better. But why? Yeah. Why you call it a snake oil salesman? Well, that's what they call. Yeah, it. No, no, no. Call it's snake, snake oil. oil salesman is because y'all know the the concept is. The salesman knows what no, no, the no, no, fuck no, no, they're that's selling not, is foul, no, 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 and they're no, no, selling no. it anyway. No, 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 no. There was a time when these guys, before there was pharmaceuticals, there was guys that would come around and sell these these elixirs, kind of like, like, like a lot of their things. Yeah, yeah. Some, some of them did. Bag. Some of them did it, dog. I, okay. Here's my thing. When I was a kid, my, my I, I used to get nosebleeds. My mm, my my grandmother said. Boy, you sit down. You put um, a penny on your forehead. Hold Proper. your head back and put put. Your, now, what the penny does? In order to keep a penny on your forehead, you got to sit the fuck still. Mm -hmm. You, in order to keep, you got to pull your head back, right? And so, what would happen is the blood with the it, the, the had nothing the, to do with the penny. It had nothing to do with the penny, but what it does was it sat yeah, your yeah. ass down and it made mm -hmm. you made the blood coagulate, it's and that's what you did. Yeah. So there was always kind of this misconception, dog. I mean, when when you, I mean, it, it's it's crazy to me. What's you know, it's not crazy because we're 
two, what, Dre, how old are you now? 28. 28. So we're talking about, I got three decades on you. I'm saying to you, we were sliding around in the back of my pop's Buick with no seatbelts. Nobody no, no, no. was wearing yeah. seatbelts. Yeah. And it was. But I understand that. I saying the people who created these things. No. Uh, no, I'm not saying that the day to day people, because like, we're like just consumers crack, of it. Like you think of crack, people didn't know. People would. Yeah, they're you know, the like, consumers, but the people who's above it, these the fucking judge mm. knows the difference between crack and cocaine is temperature. Yeah. He knows. Oh, but, but they're there, still gonna a, fucking change the but, legislator different. Nah, but there, dog, but, there, but, nah. There added, but there is an added risk that you take when you consume alcohol. I think that's I think that's what they're going on too. Like there's a common risk you take because these are your vices. Alcohols, tobacco. Do you get what I mean? So yeah. you kind of knowing. You're taking a risk, mm. but you, they, you, they, if the risk that you're totally, you, they don't know that lung can you're going to be coughing up lung cancer and they're not going to promote that part at all. There's a possibility. Right, right, you know right. You what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah but I mean, I, even hold up, you know what? Let's, is, is we want, we're going to do, we're going to do, like, uh, Kyle, can yeah, you hang out? We're going to do yeah, something so, behind the, Kyle, we want to do something behind the, behind the paywall, behind the Patreon. Just hang out. Please, real quick, just quick, click, uh, do all your social media and then we're going to do yeah, plug a your little, special, Kyle. Oh yeah, Kyle Groom's uh, Kyle Groom's Brain Humor. My special is out on Amazon Prime. Also, you it's somewhere else too. It's on my website. I don't know. Congrats, man! Kyle Congrats Kyle. on that. About time. Thanks, About time yeah, they thanks, did bro. something thanks. for you, my dog. Thanks, way bro. way to fuck that dude. Don't get, check that out. Kyle's been funny for a long time. A long when Andre was four. Andre. <laughs> Uh, Andre was four rolling around in a crib made of weed leaves. Word, word. That is real. It's four years old. Yeah, yeah. Drake, wow. go ahead, baby. Yo, Slouch Theory, Andre D. Thompson. That's it. Uh, Harry, talk to me. Uh, everything at Harry Turjanian. Yeah, uh, mine's the, the Dante Nero, Dante Nero.com. Don't forget to check out the YouTube page, um, Man School 202, one on one consultations, GYBB, get your balls back, WWDD, what would Dante do? Uh, the Sexual Revolution is being podcasted. We are out, man. Love y'all, man. Uh, we're going to be talking about this behind the behind on the Patreon. Y'all want the Patreon? Go to patreon.com uh, slash Man School 202. We are out. Peace. Man School 202 is created by Dante Nero, hosted by Dante Nero with Harry Turjanian and Andre D. Thompson, produced by Harry Turjanian, executive producers Matt Kleinschmidt, Harry Turjanian, and Dante Nero.